here he is again, locked for a top three, worst case, at another ignition, beating a number of very good players. One of the people standing in his way, a legendary Yoshi main from the days of yore. The 22 Mis seed in my pool at Endgame. Yeah, Mr. Mc <laughs> Mr. McBoogie Woogie. I am very curious to see how Seth plays this magic card. I think he lost to Ice Knight last week? Um, he may have. I don't know. I, wa I watched all of the Seth sets last week because I've been really working on my Yoshi, right? And learning a ton from this guy. I'm very glad Seth has been competing again. I missed Seth. It's the summer of Seth. Bring it back. Well, that's the problem, right? So in, in this particular matchup, it is a little bit harder for Yoshi to sneak out of the disadvantage in so many of the ways that work well versus some of like the fast falling. Because like Ice Knight, oh, Greninja can keep up with him. Yes. And also has a pretty decent disadvantage of itself. Like, so, that double jump gets you out of a lot of stuff because it's so high. I definitely think Greninja solidly wins this matchup. However, I feel like it's very annoying because for Greninja specifically, because a lot of the combos you want to go for are actually pretty frame tight against Yoshi because he'll just double jump out of them if you barely miss mess something up. Which Ice Knight doesn't do too frequently, and then you'll see drag downs into jab locks and the kills, and that was a very bread and butter thing for Ice Knight to do, where a lot of people would get super hype if they ever hit it in the bracket. That's how good Ice Knight has gotten at this character in this game. All right, there's your F tilt up air, just barely missing because that combo is fake. <laughs> Oh, what oh, a great shuriken to save you from the fair. Wow. The little mini mango snipe right in the face with the water shuriken to make it back. That's again, again, just these little things that Greninja can do in disadvantage that other characters can't. Make it a little bit trickier for Seth as the Yoshi to, like, to go and get him, right? Yoshis love matchups where they can just go and get you. And that will go get him off the right side with a fair. Ice Knight is going for a lot of drag down up airs into up tilt. And Yoshi has so much aerial drift that it's not like a true thing or a consistent thing against the character. Unless you hit the up air like directly in the center. So it might be something he wants to go for other different follow up options on a drag down up air. Ooh, oh, he read the roll in, but it didn't roll far enough. Seth has been on the tech chases on backwards rolls all day. Like, Every single player has been going for those backwards rolls, and Seth has been mostly covering them with down smash. He went for the hard read and that smash that time. Speaking of another hard read, another S smash sneaks out. Not gonna quite land though. Yeah, Seth's kind of just out here pushing the smash stick, being like, "All right, if something hits, it hits." Wow, that, that actually hit. connected and didn't kill. Two things that surprised me in one second. Yeah, so when fair up smash actually lands, it does doesn't typically. Don't. Look how wow. he, look how he goes with the reverse snare. Oh my snare. god, that was disgusting. That is an incredible edge guard. But we're back at even. The bread and butter for Ice Knight gets him on the board. Wow, don't sound disappointed, why don't you, Mr. Yoshi fan? <laughs> yeah, Justin 22 I I has sounded has, unbiased. Has, okay. Yoshi fan 22 has bred <laughs> has been bred from Justin 22 and Seth's like 22,000 PR wins over time. Hey man. Hey man. Greninja's cool, too. It's cool. We can do the wrestling commentary. You can root for Seth. I'll just root for Ice Knight. Problem solved. We have a face and a heel. <laughs> okay. I, I mean, that's technically unbiased. It's just we're just evening the playing field. That's all. As we have this last stock situation with our hero Ice Knight and Tom's villain Seth. Things have slowed down <laughs> while we have developed the narrative of the rest of this potential five-game best of five between the two of these players. Yeah. You're going to see I, some eggs, apparently. Wait things out. Going for the grab was a little risky for Seth in that spot. All right, Ice Knight taking full advantage of having center stage. The hop back forward air, just kind of walling Yoshi out with his one sword move. That's the best possible way to stop a Ferocious from Yoshi. Yes, made back sword, <laughs> absolutely. And here he goes, he got a down tilt. Really all he could get off that was the back air though. Understanding that, getting his damage, just trying to get Yoshi, for, in his case, to a percentage where one of his confirms actually will kill. And 94 should be high enough. And there's the down tilt, and there's the up smash as our hero prevails. <laughs> that disadvantage state all started from when Seth, he, he went for the, the drag down back air to F smash to really create a ledge trap situation. All right, and he was just a little bit off on the confirm, or maybe that confirm didn't particularly work on Greninja at that percent. 
Okay, now I can actually effectively root for Ice Knight properly because as the tournament organizer, we have a very specific rule, and it's whoever wins game one, you root for them to get the 3-0 so you can go home. That is how it works for us, running a large-scale event every time. Silas is over there nodding his head like, yeah, you know what? I don't want to flop into my bed okay. at 2.45 Okay, to be tonight. real, Ice Knight, also the nicest dude ever. Like, oh. it's, hard, it's hard not to root for Ice Knight. He's, he's just great. Ice Knight, my pupil, the king of neutral in Chicago. Since, I have no attachment. Playing. I have no attachment to Greninja or any Pokemon really at all, right? That's just right. But, I'm not wearing a Pokemon hat right now. No, not at all. <laughs> hey, is Farfetch'd in Smash? Uh, yeah, if I really wanted to mod him in, probably. I mean, think about it, me Sword Fighter, a Farfetch with a leak? I would be going to town, man, it would be awesome. Actually, wait a minute. Anybody listening can make that mod for me, you're my hero. I might actually mod my Switch for that as... Seth's my hero going for the fair off the side. All right, hold on, let me get my WWE Corey Graves impression going. Oh, that move is just unfair. I cannot <laughs> believe he hit that all the way off stage and it still killed, unbelievable. Who's the who's the NFL, or sorry, the, the WWE commentator I just absolutely despise? Uh, Booker T. Booker T. Booker who T, just, the legendary wrestler things. who should never have been on commentary to begin with. Just. Booker T is... Oh, you hit him with the, the thing and the stuff. <laughs> Living proof that being great at your craft in practice does not mean you know how to discuss your craft in practice. Oh, but just barely off the tech chase. Zach, his tech chasing has been so good today. I'm actually shocked he missed those jabs. All right. And maybe Ice Knight actually probably DI'd that away to just avoid it. All right, see... Ice Knight had to work so much harder for that absolute read up smash. It's Yoshi using all these unfair chases and broken <laughs> moves that are unbeatable for most characters. No, okay, Ice Knight responding with the good tech roll read, which he goes for a lot, admittedly, on platforms. He loves to read the tech roll with his up smashes. He doesn't always just let it rip. He kind of decides if I you're a I can't believe that not. this top 30 character Greninja is keeping up with this top 10 character Yoshi. <laughs> Yoshi. <laughs> it's incredible, really. It's, it's way more fun to be the heel commentator <laughs> than it is to be the face commentator. It is way more fun. All right. Okay, great down tilt to poke low and just also catch so much horizontal distance, right? You want to catch that Yoshi air drift as much as you can? Oh, he went good tech by Seth to get the hell out of there, because if you miss that, that is a jab, jab, F smash. And you probably won't die, but you're also just going to be sad that you missed the tech. That won't kill yet. Yoshi's a heavy boy. Ice Knight going way up there looking to end him. Couldn't quite get it. Another stall with the shuriken. Really good about getting around those forward airs when Yoshi tries to cut you off. Yeah, but also Seth is just good at kind of catching like follow-up spot dodges with grabs today. That's another thing that's trickier than it looks with Yoshi. But the consistent chase on the right side. That's the combo that almost ended game one. And almost killed for this just even the stocks. Wow, Seth, look at you go. All right, Seth's going to use his unbelievably broken forward tilt into up tilt. Unbeatable combo by Yoshi to take that down. Putting our hero in peril. If you ever look at up tilt on ultimateframedata.com, you know that move isn't broken because there's a giant <laughs> no, empty spot right in front of Yoshi, and you're like, I'm so sad. It's broken, but not in that context. It's broken because it doesn't work right. <laughs> in the broken. original definition, correct. All right, so he gets, that was free damage with the bear, but because the double jump armor kept Yoshi there, Ice Knight was ready for it and followed up with additional damage where he got dash attack back air again. Oh, but and the fade down from the platform and catch the air dodge continuing, and he gets the down air KO off the top. Let's go. I cannot believe. DLC move, Pete. I cannot believe this Michael Cole. I cannot believe he has been bested in this way. <laughs> Oh, shout-outs to Michael Cole, the commentator, right now, because now that the chains are off, that Vince McMahon is retired, his, his commentary is phenomenal now because he doesn't have somebody in his ear yelling at him what to say, and he gets to just do his job. It's incredible. Sorry, wrestling tangents. We could talk smack about WWE this whole set. Actually, the next set, and uh, then no, the no, potential reset. There's no smack to talk about WWE. If you're in chat, press 1 if you're a wrestling fan. There might not be many. And if there's not, I understand, but I've been a lifelong wrestling fan. That is that is my go-to decompress. That's like Dr. House watching soap operas we within went to the, the TV uh, show. What was the one we went to for your, your bachelor party? Yeah, my that bachelor party was 20, 
18 or 17 money in the bank. It was, it 18, was, it was 18, and it was awesome. All right. That was the game, one at Allstate. It was, game it was three a at a show. far less awesome venue, town and crappy. Nobody, <laughs> nobody asked for this except for Ice Knight, who chose it, and will probably utilize it to as effective. Oh, wait. I'm the heel commentator. My bad. Uh, we're going actually, to the best stage in the I game, Town and City, which is completely a fair and balanced <laughs> stage, unless something goes right for Yoshi, in which case it's broken. It doesn't work. I Yoshi mean, quite a bit likes the stage, actually. Yeah, I think, a, I think both characters do really well on Town. Um, Greninja gets the chases, so he gets, like, dash attack fair, or, like, nair fair, and it kills super early near ledge. Um, Yoshi has a lot of room to move around, so it's kind of win-win. Oh, I'm just... So good on waiting. He he knows exactly what the chase is gonna be every single time. But ooh, speaking of chases, Ice Knight went so high with that up air to catch a double jump. That was awesome too. Both players just barely off the mark on a couple of these just inches. A game of inches really is Smash Ultimate, right? It is. I want Seth to run up and down beat, because I think it'll work. Right now. No, right. that works too. Yeah, but it doesn't kill. The down beat would have broken the shield. I felt it in my bones. All right, you know what it did kill? I take it, it back. It was the right decision. I don't know anything about anything. Except that Town it and City's bad. It took you this long? Except that Town and City's that. bad. <laughs> I, know, I know everything about how bad Town and City is. Yeah, that'll do it. There's that dash attack fair. Really good on Town and City. Probably wouldn't have killed on several other stages. Maybe. I don't know. It was really strong move. So probably. At, the, at the ledge, it wouldn't kill them. He was at what, like 87 before the dash attack? Yeah, uh, Yoshi had burned his uh, his other resources prior to that, so there there was really nowhere to go. I would have died on the, the landing. Yeah. The Justin fails. No, he didn't it worked on the platform. No, it worked. He got out of egg roll and got the down tilt. It was bait the whole time. He, he didn't want to land on the platform from the word go. No, he yeah he wanted to go the other the way. Justin! Take two! Oh my god, he went for the Look egg layout of egg roll. I, I hate that Yoshis are doing this. Because we all know in our hearts and soul that it's eggs, bad. 20 eggs, eggs, baby, let's go! 20 eggs, eggs. Is that the price of a carton of eggs with inflation in 2022? There's Joe a Joe Biden did this, etc. Et yeah, et cetera, et cetera. No, he didn't. <laughs> Spoiler alert, oh, that's okay, not how catch. economics works, but okay. And the faint. But you're going to... Oh, not they, die to a forward throw. I keep forgetting Greninja has an actual kill throw for some reason. Ice Knight didn't say kill throw, so that's why it didn't work. Yeah, well, you gotta say kill throw out loud in those situations, and then it works. Then your opponent gets scared and DIs the other way. Correct. Now, on this particular layout of Town and City, it's so tricky because that's the land. Look at this. Ice Knight's so good at pressuring these landings with no platforms. All right, good jab. Ice Knight's been utilizing jab more in general in those situations, as opposed to trying to force like a second dash attack because it's marginally safer. And he's been learning how to like follow up and pressure off of it even more. So it's just been working really well in his favor in that way. Seth, meanwhile, knows everything there is to know about Yoshi and then some stuff we don't even know. And look at him continue to chase on these ledge traps. So scary. All and right. that would have poked any other character in the game if you hold the shield that long. Uh, not if they but tilted it's Yoshi. Not if they tilted it down, but it might have just broken them. I think Yoshi's last longer too. It's, it also has more shield strength. You yeah. are correct. I think that it might have broken shield on most characters. Got the double jump armor saving him. Forward air might have killed off the top in that situation. Ice Knight just did not want to give up that roll that Seth was looking for right. two or three times, and instead just says like, "I'm gonna go up into your face and back air you." And that'll work too. Yeah, that's the Sturm. Jump at you bear. Except you full hop when you do it. Yeah, because it, it works. It works either way. Ish. Ish. <laughs> the short hop bear is so disgustingly good though. Yeah, so, so he does the short hop bear and then he extends the wall. Not yet. Perfect DI. He I can, right I can continue to talk about Yoshi because he didn't die. Um, he does that short hop and he just uses the full length of his, uh, his aerial drift to mix you up. I like the grab there to kind of follow up that disadvantage state that Seth got Ice Knight into, and now this game is near even. Seth has really missed very few actual grabs. I've seen him miss command grabs, but he has missed very few actual grabs when it comes to his gameplay tonight. However, that Mare is going to be right on the money, and that's not really what you would consider a kill move for Greninja, not but so all. much damage was done. I cannot remember the last time I saw a Greninja Nair kill screen. Greninja just has so many other good moves. It that was fresh because I don't think 
Ice and I wanted to use that for combos because the double jump out of those combos was always a threat. Silas, I get me wrestling fans in chat. You're trying to combo different ways. None of them, not a single one. Incredible. I'm proud of all of you. Oh, let's go for C. Joe, <laughs> my goat, the only other wrestling fan in the scene. And oh, you're a wrestling fan? You're an AEW guy, yeah. Oh, let's. Well, AEW is amazing. Three, all right, game two, four. One, go. Uh, Ice Knight with the two to one lead, and now we are gonna see if we're gonna force a back-to-back -back game five situation in a bracket that was running later or not. Just something that I think about when I see things. Okay. Summer of Seth. Let's get a game five. Uh, Summer of Seth doing me a solid so I can go home earlier. Let's <laughs> not see a game five. Um, no, I, I'm good with good Smash. I really enjoy watching our top level play. And we have so many, like, I don't want to say new faces, but like newer in the context of post-pandemic faces at the top of Chicago now. And it is awesome. We get so many new matches, so many players who are like learning how to get to that point, you know, to be the best. What the hell? Oh, he's just back. All right, Yoshi. He I'm... never double jumped. No, that was. I thought he was dead, and you thought I he was thought dead. I thought he double jumped. And then he just wasn't dead, and now all of a sudden that lead that Ice Knight had. I think even he was like, "Oh, you weren't dead," and now he might not even take the stock first. I, you know, I really think that Seth should go for the double jabs. You know how I go for the double jab into uh, Tech Chase? He yeah. always goes for the single jab. It's a thing you can mix up, I think. I, I wouldn't want to do one or the other all well, the time. Well, I mean, they're, they're both, con like, as long as you can hit confirm off with the first jab, they're both confirmed. So you're just getting more damage. At least off of, like, the, the 3 4% of the jab. And then it also drags the opponent closer to the ledge for a forward smash to Anyways, it's not at all relevant to that latest neutral situation where <laughs> Ice Knight does get the forward air to KO. And one of them. Now one stock closer to getting a. 3-1 victory. Yeah, Ice Knight definitely threw out three or four fairs just in neutral in a row, knowing that, you know, one of these has got to hit Yoshi, right? And here we are. That's even a good combo. That's, that is a good combo. It's a day one combo, but, you know, it's also a day... How many days is it since Ultimate came out? Uh, day a lot. A this lot. Is, this is day number a lot. Xylus, did you see the guy who idled on uh, on World of Light on sub on the, the Smash Ultimate subreddit? Anyway, that, I'll tell you about that later. As Yoshi just beats the snot out of Ice Knight as I go on a tangent. <laughs> that was crazy. All right, but then he gets caught on the platform. I would never... That multi-hit trade was so good. So against Greninja, whenever I look at the stage list, my first thought is do not go to PS2 or Small Battlefield if you can avoid it because of how good and easy it is for him to catch you on either platform and cover it with up smash as a 50-50. I, these stages scare me. Also, he covers those platforms as a character really well. I, I would never have picked this stage. Well, so a lot of Yoshi's good stages are also Greninja good stages. Like, Kalos is a good Yoshi stage that you would typically see. But the Ice Knight loves Kalos, too. So you kind of want to play against that. Yeah, you would ne Okay, that is the thing, though, that, like, Yoshi might like Kalos a lot. But you don't Not take, as much as Greninja. You don't sure. take Greninja, uh, Falcon. Like, there's certain characters you just don't take the Kalos. It's oh, a bad continuing idea. Continuing the up air confirms? It went for the up smash. Hasn't really gone for one of those hard reads yet. Didn't get it. I right, get up attack for 11 damage because, all right. That's a lot of damage for a get up attack. For anyone's get up that attack. That dash attack going under the back air in the corner is so clutch for Ice Knight. Oh, he went for the, the full combo. He gets the up tilt. Double jump's he, gone. Ooh. Oh, he missed the jab lock. There it is, the up beat. Okay. Needed, there had to be one. There had to be one. He got his one, and that means the set must now end in peace. It's either gonna end in peace or with Ice Knight in pieces going to a game five. Where, where are you going, buddy? <laughs> The, the that stage. goes so high when you aim it up. Yeah, apparently. It's kind of wild. I right? thought he was going to die. I thought he was just straight up going to go flying into the blast zone. I thought the game had bugged. Seth, though, is scrapping very hard to stay in this game. Now he finally has a percent lead after he was behind so much. The reverse nair again. Oh, the wow. The chase continues. You've got to be kidding me. How persistent are you off the side of the stage? He did not let him breathe and for any amount of time anywhere in there, and that is actually insane. That is legitimate insanity.
All right, game five it is. Ice Knight fans in shambles right now, Michael Cole. Seth has set up so many of those edge guards with ledge trump to drop reverse snare. And you don't think of reverse snare as the one that kills or sets up a kill or really anything. You think of that just the one as you get by mistake when you buffer a turnaround for whatever reason. When you're at the mid-level like me, right? When you're, when you're a Yoshi that is not good at the game, to put it bluntly. And Seth is using reverse snare the best I've ever seen a Yoshi use it. It's wild the way he is set up here. And he forces a game five with that setup. All right, so back to town and city we go. Ice Knight deciding that this was the stage that worked the best for him. They actually took a while in band, so that was definitely well thought through. It wasn't one of those just, all right, guys, let's go to PS2 every game type of situations. Like, the newer players in Chicago actually think through the band situations. And it's the old heads who are just like, go to small battlefield or PS2 every game till the set ends. So I, I like that the younger kids are taking advantage of what the rule set literally allows them to do. I had one person ask me to do a double blind pick today for their set. It was awesome. Oh, really? Yeah. I haven't done one of those in like three months. All right. I should ask more people to do that. Because oh, oh, you dropped and you're done. You cannot drop against uh, Yoshi hovering above you. That nose is too large and too strong. Too active. And too active and too broken. And oh, this is bullshit active, broken, whatever. It's okay. Broken Sage is going to save Ice Knight here. No, it's not. Oh, oh. it will. Broken What's Sage. Greninja F-Tilt. We have seen some interesting Greninja kill options in this game today. Crazy. You know, we really have. On, that killed on town, by the way. Where the, the blast zones are further away. Kind of goofy. On the side? No, they're not. Up, up it is. This is well, it's just because he was on the platform. All right, here we go. Oh, he went for the, the sneaky shadow, shadow sneak. Didn't and there Seth it. goes for the double jab when it was never going to happen because of the platform movement, unfortunately. All right, weird little trade there. That is not where you want to be as Yoshi. Ice Knight with a little bit of a fist pump as he connects with that one. Gets the magic percent kill. Yeah, scary spot to be in now is Seth. He's got, this is a comeback spot. Seth, uh, Yoshi is a comeback character in this game. We've seen just the damage output and how wild it can be if he catches like two reads and takes advantage. Oh, he catches and, the roll with air from that distance? Insane. And look at that, continuing this chase the whole way. Oh, he was a little bit late on the fair that time, but he will but connect look, with the... It doesn't matter that he misses because he has the chase bump. afterwards every single time. It is now a final stock scenario, but there's no platform to escape to, which means Ice Knight has full reign on these combos. That was a very good starting out percentage uh, combo there for Ice Knight in that situation. Just a lot of damage put on. Ice Knight has been pretty confident in these situations in the past. Uh, with his young career, Seth has been confident in these situations his whole career. A good tech, though. Keeping Seth alive. Ice Knight right. waiting out the double oh, jump in that instance. You almost never see Ice Knight just go for the raw up smash, so he was really trying to catch the Yoshi landing a little bit to his side. Interesting plan. Back throw goes for the insta-kill fair. Scouted by Ice Knight, so he gets the air dodge back to ledge, which, again, not something often Greninja does. Oh, and the, there the, the Shadow Sneak out of the egg. We've seen that a couple times in game number four. Ooh. Oh, he caught the air dodge with a side B. Disgusting option from Ice Knight as he takes the game and the W from that set. Very well played by Seth, but not quite enough as Ice Knight going to make it to Grand Finals, which he basically told me straight up, if I'm playing normal, I'm top two. And he, all right, here you go. Sorry I doubted that. Didn't, it didn't actually doubt it, come to think of it. I'm just, that was getting kind of dicey there at the end. Against the Seth, who, in his words, I'm not playing great today. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> playing great today. Eh. Third at Ignition. Casual third. Third at an event that is stronger than many regionals. Sure, why not, Seth?